During the lightning round last Friday, we got a call from Hutch in Arizona who wanted to know about Iron Mountain. That's a specialized real estate investment trust that owns secure facilities for paper documents, also highly fortified data centers. Of course, I resisted asking Hutch where his buddy Starsky was and told him my gut feeling on Iron Mountain. I like the company a great deal, especially after its recent pivot to the data center. It's a very good business. But like Hutch, I also noticed that Iron Mountain stock has been hammered of late, falling from the mid-50s to the mid-40s in a matter of days. He wanted to know if there was any kind of dramatic news behind the pullback that might change the story. I didn't want to just go off the cuff. That's not what we do here. So I told him I would go back and figure out what the heck's going on. First, though, let me explain what this company does. The old Iron Mountain was a paper management company. When their, your cabinets were overflowing at the office, you called them and told them what to shred and what to store in a secure offsite facility. And we're talking about highly secure. Some of these storage areas are in, inside actual mountains, Iron Mountain. That was a solid business, especially when the IRS let them convert into a real estate investment trust in 2014. But it's also a boring business, one that was steadily declining as the whole world went digital. I mean, who the heck keeps records on paper when you can store everything in the darn cloud or in a hard drive? So seven odd years ago, Iron Mountain moved into the data center business via a series of acquisitions. They started offering all sorts of electronic information storage services, while the legacy paper management uh, business still makes up the bulk of their revenue. The company's now got a powerful growth engine in its data center unit. The old Iron Mountain was a wasting asset. The new Iron Mountain can take the cash thrown off by the paper division and invest it in new data centers. They've now got 26 sites across 18 markets. They've also started moving into new areas like asset lifecycle management, which is basically a safe and secure way for companies to decommission their tech hardware. Can't just throw away your old computers because there might be something sensitive on them. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.